Hello everybody, today I will be cooking a ribeye steak for dinner. So I'm gonna start with the ingredients. I have four steaks over here that I'm gonna be using and they don't have any bone. I have one tablespoon of salt, one tablespoon of pepper, one tablespoon of olive oil, four tablespoons of butter, and I have two pounds of um, mushrooms and I cut them in this size. I have two jalapenos that I cut on this size and a piece of bell pepper that I'm going to be using. I use the yellow one and the, the red one for color. Two garlics, a half of onion, and I use the white one and I cut it like this in these pieces. So I'm going to start by um, seasoning my meat and then we do the mushrooms. Okay, so now I'm going to put a, a little oil over here on my steak. Just a little bit. And the other one too. Okay, so now we're gonna mix the salt and the pepper here. I mix it together. I'm just gonna get a little bit over here and over here and we turn them and do the same thing on the other side right here Put a little bit Okay, now I'm going to poke the grease a little bit here. Only by the area where it has the grease. Just a little bit. Let's get this to the grease. And we'll put them to the side. And now we're going to start um, by frying our mushrooms. Okay, so I already have the pan and the, fi and the fire, so I'm going to put the butter and just wait until it melts. Okay, I have the butter right here and it's already melting, so I'm going to put the rest of the oil that we have left in there. I'm going to put it here and we're going to be putting our mushrooms here, okay, right there. So now we're going to put our mushrooms. There we go. Put the mushrooms in. So we're going to let them cook. And then we put the onion and the rest of the vegetables here. If you can see, this is all the juice that the mushrooms release. So we're just going to wait until it dries for a little bit. I already put one. Okay, at this point we're going to be putting the vegetables now. We're going to start with the onion. Right here. And the garlic. I'm going to put the papers. Okay, now we're going to put some of the salt and paper that, um, that we have left from the steaks. Okay, 
okay and it's looking like this and at this point uh, you taste them for salt if it needs more salt you can always put more Uh, for me it's fine but you can always taste it and if it needs more salt you can always put more our mushrooms are done so I'm gonna be cooking the steak now you can see it looks like this okay so we're gonna do the same thing over here we're gonna put the butter and I'm putting one tablespoon and on the mushrooms I put three tablespoons okay so we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna let it melt okay so I put the butter now I'm gonna put probably like um, one teaspoon of um, olive oil right here for our steaks So we're going to try to cook them in 4 minutes from one side and then we turn, turn them around and we cook them for another 10, uh, for another 4 minutes, sorry. Okay, now I'm going to turn the other one. So 4 minutes, minutes on each side. Okay, so this one is already done. And we wait for the other one. Okay. okay, let's put the other one in here. That one is too big, so I'm only going to put one in there. Okay, it's done. So we're going to put the other one. The last one is done. Okay, so it looks like this when it's done. So we're going to start serving a plate. And these are the mushrooms. So we're going to put uh, the marsh mushrooms on top of the, the steak. Okay, so we get our piece of steak. Which is this one right here, and we put the mushrooms on top like this. Okay, you can put as much as you want, and then you rice on the side. Okay, I put it in a serving plate and this is how it looks when it's done. So I hope you enjoy the recipe uh, and like and subscribe.